so last class uh, in we discussed about the about the, what is the importance of measurements and what is units and what is the fundamental units and the derived units and the difference between the fundamental and derived units so in this class uh, we will start from the the system of units so there are different types of systems of units are there uh, to measure the length mass time and other physical quantities so the first one is fps system the foot pound and second system and next one is the cgs system is called centimeter gram second system and mks system is called meter kilogram and second system so now these things are used uh, like um, and previously they used to use in, in this type of systems and different countries used to follow these systems fps in england used to follow fps system even british indian people used to follow fps system and in france french people used to follow a cgs system so this type of things were there now the problem is that if anybody goes to france suppose he is using fps system he measuring the uh, mass in pound and he is going to france where they are using the, uh, the uh, where they are using um, the mass with the gram so there will be very difficulties so problem will be difficult situation will be there because uh, they have to convert the pound to mass so, so a big calculation is there so to avoid this type of things mainly in the scientific calculations and all will be very difficult and to avoid all those things and mm, they all the countries they uh, gathered together and they decided that they will follow a uh, like a, uh, international units because each and every country will follow the same type of physical quantities for so that everything will be like uh, easy and smooth so that is why they decided and they they proposed uh, one unit that is called the SI unit uh, this is the full form is the international system of units so in the in this system so there are seven base units are there so already we i told you last class so that one is this is the seven base units and the symbols are given so they are kilogram mass second and then uh, for temperature that is kelvin so previously we used to measure the temperature with degree celsius now here we are using kelvin and for the electric current we are using ampere for the amount of amount of matter is called mole one mole is equal to the one avogadro number that is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 and for luminous intensity is called is candela what is luminous intensity those who are uh, taking photos and all like uh, cameramans they used to measure the uh, the <coughs> the light uh, uh, intensity in the room they used a certain kind of uh, units that is called the uh, candela it's called luminous intensity see in this uh, in this seven units some units are starting with the capital letter like k and a is starting with the capital letter you can see also the, the why these things are like that because this kelvin and ampere is the name of a scientist so to give the respect to the name of a scientist this units and symbol has been proposed so to to give respect to their name these two units is having uh starting with the uh, capital letters k and a okay now i'll show you some pictures so this is the picture of the of the of the international system of units or called the si units the french name is system international de units or si so it was proposed in 1960 i think so 1960 and with the seven base units so the seven base units are uh, given here all the seven base units are there now here in this picture i'll show you one thing so this one is the standard meter it is also kept in france the standard why this is the standard meter because if you are having confusion with the one meter length suppose you are measuring a scale uh, you don't know the how much is one meter the normally how do we just uh, uh, check with the other scale so maybe uh, you want to check that precisely you want to check then you have to go to france and uh, you will measure with this length this length is 1 meter the standard 1 meter is uh, is the <coughs> used in the throughout the world even for the mass also they have kept this is the standard 1 kg is kept see how uh, precisely they kept this one so that um, the mass should not increase or decrease they have kept in a 0 degree celsius temperature so this is the standard mass throughout the world they are using the 1 kg of this mass 
one kg suppose there some companies are making the uh, weights and uh, they are used to follow this is at the standard one kg then they will make two kgs three kgs like that and even for time also time also time is a very important thing you know the time also there is a instrument is there there is that is the atomic clock see in the internet time and if time is very important is your mobile phone internet your like a uh, railways uh, airplane flights uh, everything are running with the time if, if there is a any any mistake or the clocks get stopped so you know how disaster will happen so everything will get stopped all of a sudden even the satellite also is working with the time that is synchronized each and everything is synchronized to one each other so if this synchronization breaks everything will get stopped so this is the uh, atomic clock they are uh, producing the accurate time so uh, this is getting synchronized with the other clocks and uh, the world is uh, running smooth and apart from this uh, other things i want to tell you that this physical quantity is also uh, divided into two categories so there are scalar and vectors sorry the scalar and vector and some quantities scalar quantities some quantities having magnitude but there is no directions they are called the scalar quantities and some quantities which is having magnitude and direction also they are called the vector quantities suppose i give you one very easy example Let's think about this one this is a force so force so force is a wait one second so force is a the force is a quantity suppose i want i am pushing somebody or i am pushing a table or pulling somebody something so when i applying the force and there is some direction is there so that is why the force is having a magnitude the magnitude means how much amount of uh, how much value is there in the force 5 10 20 like that and which direction east west north south right side left side so this is the direction direction should be there so that is why the force is a vector quantity see in case of mass here see if i go to um, buy some uh, if i go to buy some rice in the from the market so if i say so 10 kg rice then there in to in this information direction is not required only amount is required distance distance what is distance and what is displacement first i'll tell you what is displacement so displacement is the distance between the initial and the final positions okay suppose you want to go to delhi okay suppose you go by aeroplanes you go just exactly straight from from calcutta to delhi exactly straight from here to here just uh, there is no like a deviation will not go like left side not right side so this is that the minimum distance between your initial and the final position is called the displacement that means say the direction is required so if, if you want to go to delhi then you have to go to like uh, uh, in a north direction straight then you go straight north direction how much suppose around 1200 kilometer you go race to delhi so north direction is also required and 1200 kilometer this information is also there so 1200 kilometer so this is the magnitude of this one and kilo and uh, this distance you are going towards north towards north direction so that means these two information is there what is that that is the magnitude and the direction that is why they are called the vector quantity so that is why the displacement is a displacement is a vector quantity but normally if you go by train the train will go like this way go like this way they will go different different places then we reach there so there is no particular directions uh, it can go left right like this way so there is no particular direction and maybe it will cross cross around 1400 kilometers in a different different direction so this is called the this is called the distance so distance doesn't have any particular directions okay so only the magnitude is enough so they are called the vector scalar quantity okay so in short i'll tell you the quantity which is having magnitude but no direction they are called the scalar quantity examples are there distance speed mass energy density power and the time these are all the all the thing is called temperature these are all the scalar quantity and this quantities like uh, displacement velocity weight acceleration force impulse these are called the vector quantity because they are having magnitude and direction magnitude means size how much big is that quantity suppose 5 kg 5 kg if i say 5 kg 5 kg and 10 kg 10 kg so which magnitude is more 10 kg is more because 10 is more than 10 is greater than 5 so that is why this 10 is called the magnitude 
so thank you next class we'll continue from the from that uh, the chapter is called the motion and there we'll learn about distance displacement velocity acceleration and so many things okay thank you very much